The giant oil and gas company Shell has had some of its adverts banned for making misleading claims. The ads on telly, in a poster and on YouTube were about Shell investing in renewable energy, supplying more than a million households with electricity from renewable sources. But the advertising watchdog, the Advertising Standards Authority, said these ads were misleading because they ignored the fact that the vast, vast majority of Shell's business is in extracting and supplying fossil fuels, so oil and gas. Veronica Wignall is a campaigner from Ad Free Cities, and she lodged the campaign, uh, sorry, the complaint against uh, to the ASA about Shell last year. Um, Veronica, welcome. Tell me why you wanted to bring this complaint. Well, we saw the adverts in question a year ago in Bristol, actually, and we were confused why Shell, a major oil company, was advertising itself as green. Um, so we reported the adverts to the Advertising Standards Authority, and yeah, this morning the ASA has agreed with us and, and banned the adverts because they gave a false impression that Shell is prioritising green energy, when, as you say, the vast, vast majority of their business remains in fossil fuels, which are harming all of us. Well, what Shell told us is that they strongly disagree with the ASA's decision, and they say it could slow the UK's drive towards renewable energy. And, and this is what they say. People are already well aware that Shell produces oil and gas. But what many people don't know is that they're also investing heavily in low and zero carbon energy, including building one of the UK's largest public networks of EV charging points. Now, they say this, no energy transition can be successful if people are not aware of the alternatives that are available to them. And this is what our adverts set out to show. And that is why we are concerned by this short-sighted decision. What do you say to that? This ruling doesn't stop Shell from advertising, it stops it from greenwashing. So Shell can still advertise, it can. It just needs to be telling the whole truth about what it's doing. And those green energy initiatives that you mentioned at the moment form less than 5% of what Shell is, Shell's business is invested in. So while more than 90% of its business remains in fossil fuels, advertising only a small selection of its business, which is in cleaner energy provision, is is really disingenuous. And, and I think I'd, I'd really strongly disagree that this ruling would have um, anything to do with slowing down a transition to a green energy transition. What would really speed up a green energy transition is if Shell moved its um, enormous financial weight into clean energy um, and made that a more substantial proportion of their business. Well, what Shell and other energy, uh, you know, fossil fuel energy companies say is that they are moving a lot of their research and development into sustainable fuels. So just going back to these ads then, if that poster that you saw had contained on it perhaps a strap line that said that these renewables accounted for 5% of what Shell does, would you have been satisfied with that? I think that would be maybe a small step in the right direction. Um, But I think still, you know, climate change is something that matters so much to all of us, matters so much to me, to my family. And I know so many people are making changes to try and reduce their, their carbon footprint. And yet companies like Shell, who are inflicting such enormous damage to the planet, are still being allowed to advertise. And what we'd say is actually a strapline like that would go nowhere to addressing the harms caused by fossil fuel advertising. We'd we'd actually like to see a full ban on advertising for fossil fuel companies in the same way that we no longer see adverts for tobacco. You know, we, once we knew how harmful tobacco was, we stopped promoting it and we think we need to stop advertising that promotes and greenwashes companies like Shell and others that are causing such harm to all of us. Veronica Wignall from Ad Free Cities, thank you. And of course, we did invite Shell to come on the programme, uh, but they decided not to and they sent us that statement instead.